Hello friends. Welcome to this session on introduction to Euclid's geometry. In the previous video, we learned about the postulates and its definitions. In this video, we will focus on Euclid's postulates. So let's start with the first postulate. A straight line segment can be drawn joining any two points. Friends, let's start with one point and see how many lines we can draw that pass through one point. We can draw infinite such lines. Now, we will follow the same process with two points. That is, we will draw lines that pass through these two points. Now, can you tell how many such lines we can draw? Friends, only one straight line can be drawn through two points. And even if we try to draw another straight line, it is not possible. If we draw it, it will not be a straight line but a curve. Euclid has shown this postulate in many of his works. Now let's understand the second postulate. A terminating line can be extended indefinitely. Friends, can you tell what is a terminating line? We know that a line is a straight and a series of never-ending points. And we represent a line with arrows on both ends. A part of a line which has no mark or symbol on either side and which ends in a point is called a line segment. And this line segment was previously known as terminating line. According to Euclid's postulate, a line segment can be extended indefinitely. That is, it can be seen as a line by extending it from a small line segment to a larger line segment or by extending it like this. This means a small line segment can be converted into a line. The third postulate moves away from a line towards a circle. According to the third postulate, a circle can be drawn with any center and any radius. This postulate indicates that we can draw a circle with any radius by taking any center. Friends, by keeping this postulate in mind, on a piece of paper you can draw a circle with the help of a compass. We can see that we can draw infinite circles. Let's move to the next postulate. All right angles are equal to one another. Friends, this is quite easy to understand. The measure of a right angle is 90 degrees. So if this angle is made up of two sides or lines, or if it is inside any triangle, it will be 90 degree only. That is why Euclid said that all right angles are equal to one another. Friends, we need to concentrate a little more to understand the next postulate. This is the postulate. Come on, let's try to understand this. This postulate says that if there are two straight lines on a paper and now if we draw a straight line intersecting both these lines then if this straight line makes interior angles on its one side in such a way that the sum of two angles will be less than two right angles. If we extend the two lines in the same side indefinitely then they will meet each other at a point. So friends, these are the five postulates given by Euclid. Friends, that's all in this session. Today we learned about Euclid's postulates. See you in the next video. Thank you.